Hey everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing good and staying safe. So with this last topic, we will probably be able to wrap up most of our VPC concepts, at least 80% of it. This is one of the advanced concepts of AWS VPC, where we talk about site-to-site -site VPN connection or virtual private network connection all the way to your on-premise environment. Now, since this is a complicated topic, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through some really basic stuff and then I'm going to take you through what site-to-site -site VPN is all about. And then we are going to take a look at site-to-site uh, -site VPNs, route tables and route priorities and so on. And then we are going to take a look at some of the VPN related architectures and then how to configure resiliency, redundancy and monitor your site-to-site -site VPN connection. And then I'm going to walk you through some very nice architecture diagram. And then finally, we are going to wrap it up with a small walkthrough to the console as to what or all the possible things that you can do in regards to site-to-site -to -site VPN. So let's get started. The first concept that I want you to remember is in regards to autonomous systems, right? So autonomous systems, when you think about it, your entire internet is a collection of networks of networks. So if from one network, you will try to reach another network, how would you possibly be able to do that? So it is broken into hundreds and thousands of smaller networks called as autonomous systems. And each of these networks is nothing but it consists of essentially a pool of routers. So how do these routers interact within an autonomous system and how do these routers interact across autonomous systems is what we need to think about. And each autonomous system wishing to exchange the routing information should have something registered called as an autonomous system number. And this is given to each and every um, you know, autonomous system through IANA. And you can take a look at this online and you can see that ASN numbers are 16 bit numbers, but you also have 32 bit ASN numbers out there. And on the AWS side of things, they support 16 bit numbers. And these ASNs are only required for external BGP. So which means whenever you think about an autonomous, autonomous system and you have a set of routers within an autonomous system that would like to interact with another autonomous system set of routers, they use something called as external BGP called as border gateway protocol. And whenever the routers would like to talk within an autonomous system, they use something called as internal BGP, again called as internal border gateway protocol. So with that being said, I hope you understand in very simple layman terms that the internet is nothing but a network of networks broken up into a lot of autonomous systems which consists of routers. So let's take a look at what BGP is all about or border gateway protocol. So border gateway protocol is very essential for the entire internet to function because it is the postal service of the internet. And something that we recently saw in regards to WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram going down was mainly because of a wrong BGP configuration that was submitted to a router. So when someone submits any data via the internet, BGP is the protocol that is responsible for looking at all of the available paths that the data could travel, picking the best route, which usually means hopping between autonomous systems using external border gateway protocol and within an autonomous system, internal border gateway protocol. So having that said, this is the basic concepts for someone to understand a site-to-site -site VPN connection because you are establishing a connection between your AWS VPC and your on-premise data center where both of them are in total different networks, probably in different autonomous systems, okay? So I'll see you in the next lecture where we take a look at AWS site-to-site -site VPN in more detail.